I'm Simon Whistler, you're watching the Today I Found Out YouTube channel. Now, you might not have ever wondered what the moon smells like, but in today's video, you're gonna find out anyway. Let's get started. Moon dust smells like spent gunpowder. This is according to the astronauts that have had the opportunity to smell fresh moon dust that has been tracked into the lunar module after excursions out on the surface of the moon. The astronauts didn't just smell the dust though, they also touched it and tasted it. They say it feels like soft snow, though despite the softness, it is surprisingly abrasive, extremely clingy, and near impossible to brush off. The taste, apparently, is also very similar to gunpowder, according to Apollo 16 astronaut Charlie Duke. Of course, one's perception of taste is heavily influenced by smell. It turns out, though, moon dust and gunpowder aren't similar at all in composition, so why it should smell like this is something of a mystery. Moon dust doesn't smell like anything once back on Earth, and we have no fresh samples to study. Samples astronauts attempted to bring back to Earth ended up getting contaminated by moist air when the seals broke on the containers containing moon dust. What caused the breaking of the seals was the unexpected abrasiveness of the moon dust itself, which cut the seals. There are two main theories as to why the moon dust smells like spent gunpowder when it first comes into contact with moist air. First, perhaps we are seeing the desert rain effect. This is where the completely moisture-free dust comes into contact with the moist air in the lunar module. This releases odors from the dust that have lain dormant for untold years. The second theory is that there is some sort of oxidation taking place. Oxidation is very similar to burning, but without the smoke as it happens too slowly. So this might produce this burning gunpowder smell. The moon dust itself is made up primarily of silicon dioxide glass that has been shattered into tiny pieces. There is also quite a bit of iron, calcium, and magnesium contained in it. Bonus Facts Jack Schmidt, an Apollo 17 astronaut and geologist, has the distinction of being the first human to have extraterrestrial hay fever. After returning to the lunar module and taking his helmet off, he had an instant reaction to the moon dust with his nose stuffing up quickly. This lasted a couple of hours before going away. However, every time he came back inside the lunar module after tracking in fresh moon dust, he had the same reaction, though lessened each time as his body developed a tolerance to whatever vapors the moon dust was giving off. According to Schmidt, he wasn't the only one to experience this, but pilots don't like to admit any adverse symptoms or they think they'll be grounded. Bonus Fact 2 the leading theory on how the moon formed is that it is the result of a collision between the Earth and a planet-sized object about 4.6 billion years ago with the event called the Big Whack. When the impact happened, a cloud of vaporized rock shot off the Earth's surface and went into orbit around the Earth. Over time, the cloud cooled and condensed into a ring of small, solid objects which then slowly gathered together, eventually forming the moon. Bonus Fact 3 the distance around the equator of the moon is about 6,783 miles. For comparison, that is a little under twice the distance from Seattle, Washington, USA to New York City, USA. Further, the moon has a surface area of around 14.6 million square miles, which is about 92.6% less surface area than the Earth has, or about four times the surface area of the United States. Bonus Fact 4 the gravity on the moon is about 17% of what it is on Earth, so if you weigh 200 pounds on Earth, you will weigh 34 pounds on the moon. Bonus Fact 5 If you ever landed on the moon, you'd need to accelerate to 5,324 miles per hour in order to escape the moon's gravitational pull. This is about 21.3% the speed you'd need to reach to escape the Earth's gravitational pull. Bonus Fact 6 the largest crater on the moon is about 550 miles in diameter and is near the South Pole Lycan Basin. The impact caused by the asteroid that formed this crater was almost powerful enough to split the moon into pieces. Bonus Fact 7 The moon used to have very active volcanoes. The dark areas of the moon, called Maria, meaning seas, are cratered landscapes that were flooded with lava which then froze, forming smooth, rock areas that resemble, from a distance, bodies of water on Earth. So I really hope you liked that video, and if you did like it, click like below and leave us a comment to let us know what you think. And also check out a couple of our other videos, which are linked to on the screen now, and don't forget to subscribe for brand new videos every day. Thanks for watching.